John Haroyan, and I'm coming to you live from Design West in San Jose. So we're gonna, today we're going to talk more about microchips graphical display solutions, uh, ranging anywhere from 16-bit up to 32, and we'll talk a little bit about our uh, graphical stack that uh, goes along with it for rapid development. So when we look down at the board here, we've got a wide range of solutions, everywhere from 16-bit up to 32. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. So down here with the PIC24DA part, this is a 16-bit uh, microcontroller with an integrated graphics controller that has hardware acceleration built in. So basically this part right here is both the processor and the graphics unit. We've got a little bit of external flash and a little bit of external SRAM here to handle the, uh, the frame buffer but the part itself does have 96K of SRAM built in, so it can very easily handle 8-bit color graphics. So with the development board, if we move on over, we've got a number of different display sizes and resolutions that can be used for your uh, application. Additionally, we actually also sell uh, blank versions of these boards, so if you have your own display, you can tie it in very, very easily. So um, our displays also have full touchscreens on them, so as you can see, if we go ahead and press the uh, press the touch screen, the MCU is flipping through the different styles of, uh, of graphs here, and that is fully supported by our, by our software stack. So moving on up the board, we're going to move up to um, a couple of different PIC32 um, type solutions. The first one here, this one is our what we call our LCC, or Low Cost Controllerless, controllerless Graphics Solution. And what that means is we actually use the PIC32 here to be the graphics controller in addition to being the MCU. We take about 5% of the horsepower of this part, use the DMA controller to actually draw the screen, as you can see here to the right. So performance-wise, it does really well, and you don't have the additional burden of an extra graphics controller. Back here on the board, here's the frame buffer right here. So a single SRAM part, the CPU, and you've got a full color graphics solution. Moving on up to the top board here, this is what we would consider a Cadillac uh, graphics solution. Uh, we've partnered with Epson with their graphics controller here. This part does not only 24-bit graphics and handles much larger resolutions like up to 800 by 480 pixels, but also does things like alpha blending and has hardware acceleration built into it as well. So coupled with our PIC32 starter kit here, works in conjunction with the controller and the memory, SD RAM in this case, to drive a much bigger display than any of the other ones you've seen so far. So this is a 7-inch 800 by 480 pixel board, also with our pixel display, also with a uh, touchscreen controller on it, and again running our running our uh, graphic graphic library. Moving over here to a more finished solution, we also have this is another 16-bit or PIC24 um, board processor display in an integrated package from one of our uh, one of our partners, one of our design partners, and that's available as a as a finished product but again uses our processor and our uh, graphics, graphics library. So with the, uh, what we've seen here today is our color solutions. What we've also got um, beyond just the color is we also have an e-ink display. So if we come over here to look at this board, which we've part also partnered with Epson on, and pervasive displays. E-ink is the uh, style of display that uh, is commonly found in, uh, in the Amazon Kindle or other e-readers, and it provides a more paper-like experience that uh, doesn't require um, a backlight. And as you can see in this demo, what we've got is actually some moving graphics, which is pretty unique, and that uses the Epson uh, controller and one of our 16-bit microcontrollers to drive it. So for low-power displays, it's uh, excellent. You can remove power and the display image actually stays on the, on the display. So it's great for applications where you need a uh, paper-like display and want to have a you know, very low power application. And this is also supported with our graphics library stack.